Let's talk a little bit about, um, uh, now for something completely different, we've been talking about lymphoid and plasma cell uh, malignancies. What about uh, AML? And uh, you know, it's obvious to say that there are some unique challenges with AML because when you make AML stem cells go away, what happens? We need an allogeneic transplant, right? So, but can we talk about, uh, you know, there are some interesting data uh, looking at CD123. You, uh, you want to talk about that, Mike? Well, I, I think that the, the most important thing to say about that data is that it's really too early to talk much about it. Um, I think that AML has a tremendous need. In spite of our very best efforts with transplantation and intensive therapies, we still lose half of the patients with AML. And um, so that there's, a, there's a tremendous need for, for constructs. We all know that it should work, cars should work, but we have to find the right targets. CD123 is a promising target. Some activity has been shown. There are a few studies that are open with small numbers uh, of patients um, enrolled. People are, are working on CD3, CD33. Um, and there are other antigens that are, that are kind of in the wings. Um, I, I think that we, we don't have enough to say about AML right now, but we have a big need. And my hope is within the next two years, we start seeing some real data in AML. I think... Uh, but, 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 but one thing yeah. to mention is, again, what you're saying, uh, AML is going to be a different approach because we anticipate we're going to destroy the marrow um, with most approaches. And therefore, um, a transplant will be an obligate part of that. And, the thing you don't want to do is do an intensive transplant in the middle of cytokine release syndrome. We have to find a way to um, get these patients through their early toxicities, get them stable, and then replace their marrow. So there are other antigens in AML that are what we call, you know, overexpressed autoantigens, like, uh, mm -hmm. for example, WT1. You want to talk mm -hmm. about, yeah, you know, so, and that's so, not targeted typically with yeah, a car. Yeah, so this is a different, different approach. So WT1 is an internal antigen, so it's not expressed on the cell surface, so you can't really target it with a... Uh, typical CAR against an antigen. So there you have to actually do a TCR trans uh, transduced cell. And so we have some experience uh, uh, led by Ode Chupoy and uh, Phil Greenberg at the, our center where, where you can actually put in a highly specific T cell receptor for WT1 and treat uh, patients with AML that express WT1 uh, uh, overexpressed WT1. And so th this, this approach, again, is it's pretty much in its infancy. It doesn't seem to have quite the potency of a car where we, we can make literally kilograms of tumor go away in some of these patients, where it, it seems to be better at this point in preventing relapse and potentially in high-risk patients in the ALO setting. But th as we get this more refined, I think it will go forward. And we're now starting trials in patients with chemotherapy rather than transplant to see whether we can decrease this risk of relapse. So I think the future is bright with T cell, transduced cells, as well as the CAR cells. So I think that that is important. So CARs recognize surface antigens, uh, where no native T cell receptors recognize proteolytically, you know, or processed peptides, antigens yeah. and peptides. So a TCR transgenic, while it has to be customized to the HLA of the patient, can recognize intracellular antigens. And and in our center, there are certainly uh, other centers too that. Um, first, all of the, 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 the companies that are generally doing CAR T-cell therapies have TCR transgenics in their pipelines across other diseases. Uh, Adaptimmune, for example, at our institution, we have trials open in sarcoma and, and, and lung uh, and, uh, and even uh, you know, uh, gynecologic malignancies of NYE, so one specific TCR transgenic. So this is, I think, shows you that once um, we can handle intracellular antigens with TCR transgenics, now there are real caveats. These are tougher to produce. They have to be more customized. Um, but there could be a broader range of, of specificities that, that could be in our future as we move beyond these first generation, typically lymphoid malignancy targeted cars to uh, other solid tumors.